So in today's video I wanted to discuss a few things but mainly the Megalodon theory that Jack Frags has come up with that's pretty much set the community on fire. All I've heard for the last week is Megalodon this, Megalodon that. There have been servers dedicated on Paracel Storm to just simply trying to find this Megalodon. Now at the moment I have my doubts about this theory. No, no disrespect to Jack Frags, I think he's a great guy. Um, but I do think it's slightly far-fetched what he's actually proposing. And I don't think dice are helping very much. I mean, all they're doing is egging us on, trying to find something. And I get that, and that's cool that the de developers are getting involved in things like that. But I think there might be an underlying reason as to why they're egging us on so much. As I'm sure you're all aware, DICE and EA have confirmed that DLCs for Battlefield 4 and any future titles that were being developed by DICE have been put on hold currently. And that's so that the developers can focus on the core aspect of Battlefield 4 and get rid of most of the bugs that have been plaguing the game since it was launched. Now, we can look at this both ways, because DICE could be using this as a massive tactic at the moment. They know they're in a bit of trouble in terms of coding the game and pushing it out at the time when it really wasn't ready. I don't think it was really their fault that it came out in that state, but still, it falls on their shoulders. They need to fix the game. So, something like this, caught hold on by a big YouTuber who started to promote it, worked really well for them and so at the moment the community aren't complaining about all the problems with the net code, disconnections, all the different things that people have been complaining about at the moment seem to have been silenced. We could of course look at it from the other side and that probably looks like that DICE are just trolling their whole community with this Megalodon theory when actually there's no reference to it in the game files, there's no sounds for it People have trawled through the game files and found nothing relevant to a Megalodon. So while this Megalodon hunt was going on, the people that were trawling through the game files trying to find some reference to it came across something a little bit more interesting. Now, Zinto and a couple of other DICE developers have hinted at a massive easter egg on Rogue Transmission. Now in the game files, somebody managed to come across this. That's unmistakably a dinosaur roar. There is no question of what that actually was. In the game files, it was labelled under Dish. Now, that was the working title for Road Transmission as a map when Battlefield 4 was being developed, so ties in very nicely there. In addition to this sound, on Road Transmission, there is an Easter egg that sort of represents Jurassic Park. Now, you might have seen it, you might have not but there's a goat inside this sort of container. That's actually something from Jurassic Park. Now that's why people thought that there was gonna be a big dinosaur Easter egg on road transmission. Now this game file sort of heightens that even further. But alas, at the moment, we still don't really know how to trigger anything, either for the Megalodon or this massive dinosaur on road transmission or whatever it happens to be. We're actually no closer to finding out what either of them are. At the moment, Battlefield 4 is reminding me a bit of the god-awful Twilight Saga, where we got two sides of it. People searching for a Megalodon and people searching for dinosaurs. I think both sides of the story have their own warrants and benefits and probably drawbacks. But most likely for me to happen is probably the dinosaur on road transmission. There's physical evidence in the game files of that actually existing. And so for me, that sort of tells me there's probably something we need to do to trigger it and that one's probably going to happen. The Megalodon at the moment is just a theory, that's it. There's no confirmed evidence for it. So as I said, for me, it's more likely going to be the dinosaur on road transmission. So moving on from far-fetched stories of Megalodons in the sea and uh, dinosaurs trampling around a massive radio dish, I've been working my way towards the Phantom Prospect dog tag in Battlefield 4. It's actually really not that difficult to unlock but it does require a little bit of grinding, especially for those 200 tank kills. Now, if you're normally a tank driver, then it's probably not going to be much of an issue for you. But for me, I don't tend to use ground vehicles very much, especially tanks. I'm just not very aware of my surroundings. That's why I prefer to play infantry. I can stick a suppressor on my weapon and stay off the minimap. With a tank, that's not going to happen. You're pretty much visible all of the time. China Rising really does help out here in terms of the Phantom Prospect dog tag because some of the maps like Silk Road and Altai Range are so open and massive it's really easy to start getting those tank kills in. 
So that's probably what I recommend. If you're actually working your way towards it at the moment and you do have access to the China Rising maps, then utilise them. Specifically Silk Road, because for me, that is the best conquest map in Battlefield 4 at the moment. I did really like Zavod. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to change that. Silk Road is my favourite Conquest large map in Battlefield 4, but Zavod 311 is my favourite Conquest map. I prefer to play that map on sort of 3 to 4 flag layout. Just feels much better, whereas Zavod is a little bit smaller, so with vehicles thrown in there and helicopters and things like that, I feel it can get a little bit cramped in Conquest large, where with Conquest you're a little bit more spread out. Probably maximums about 48 players, so that works really well for me, but on Silk Road it's pretty much all out warfare. And in terms of getting those tank kills, that's pretty much the best way to do it. One more thing before I end this video, I'm, I'm going to be showing a new intro that I've got at the end of this video that I'm going to be using for future news videos and shorter ones that I don't want to use music for. Now if you're not aware, YouTube has changed its content ID system last Monday, so I got hit with I think 5 content ID claims which don't affect my channel in any way, it just means that they take away monetization for those videos. So I'm a little bit less inclined to use music now. I still get permission from the artist to actually use their music, but now I'm making sure that I get express written permission. So if I do get a content ID claim, I can actually dispute it because I do have proof. So the music that you'll be hearing from now on is going to be probably better than what I've had before, but in terms of the intro, I've got this second one so that I don't have to use music all the time. But anyway, enough of me rambling, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like down below and let me know in the comments whether you're searching for that Megalodon or you're hoping for a dinosaur on road transmission. But until next time guys, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.